<laughs> okay, Carla, how is your uh, first week of your foil drive experience going? It's going good. It's going good. I'm getting it. I'm just a little slow. So I'm just going to take you through maybe an older generation, not so agile person's learning experience. Um, so my second and third day, I went at Sprex and it was what, 25 to 35 knots? Yeah, so that, you know, going from flat water. All right, Carla's first try on the foil drive, getting it. All right. Two. Super windy and choppy. And my objective with the assist is to learn how to downwind. Um, eventually, I would like to have the paddle. I'm right now. Oh, where's my um? trigger thing. Your see. trigger thing? Let's go find it. Yeah. Okay, we got our trigger thingy. <laughs> <laughs> this um, is called the controller. Controller. So what we did on my second try at Sprex, super windy. What's my board size? This is a 5.3. And I could honestly use bigger for learning I could have used bigger. I, I kind of wanted more um, nose. Um, but anyways, this is what I was on. 1770, 20 tail, 80 cm. Max. Yep, that's an 80 cm. So the first thing that we did was, we did, haha, <laughs> Alex did, was move the um, propeller uh, down, I guess you will, you know, more here. Uh, to get it in the water a little bit more. And that helped from my first day because I kept just getting out of the water and I had no drive forward because the propeller wasn't in the water and I didn't know what I was doing. So that helped. Then what I had to do was learn how to, in this chop, get up going straight downwind. So learning just to get on your knees first and what you got to do is kind of like speed is your friend. So what I wasn't doing was engaging the controller and going. I was trying to stand up before I was going and it just made me fall back. So that was the first thing I had to learn was getting up with some speed. So I'm going downwind and I'm just doing circles. Pretty windy today. Going right against the wind. Oh, the first thing I had to learn, obviously the button turns it on and off. But if you click it four times, it tells you what your battery is. And I really need to read it. I'm on, I'm on battery all, you know, full time. So I'm going through, what size battery do we have? It's called the max power battery. I'm at, you know, 100% when I go and I've got, what, 15, 20 minutes of ride? But I'm full bad, I mean, I'm just engaged the whole entire time. Um, and I have to watch it. So click it four times and it'll tell you what your battery is. And so if you're in a situation that you need to know, um, I and that's what I am, because I have to get back up wind. And if I don't get back up wind, somebody's gotta come and get me. <laughs> so my first, my second and third day, I was doing just circles at scratch. Oh. Objective is just to get up and and you know try to ride, go down and then get on my knees and get back up wind and that is so hard. Your eyes are just blasted. So now what I'm learning is get on my knees, 
go full speed. That's why I'm absorbing so much battery. And um, foil on my knees upwind. So if you are doing this circle, try that. Try to learn that first. Otherwise, you just flash your eyes. So the first thing is when you get up, what I'm learning right now is my foot position. And I'm having a little bit of a hard time. I'm, I ride straps. Sup, winging, come from windsurfing. I'm just a strap person. So not to not have straps, I don't have straps, and I don't have a paddle. Um, I am too forward. So your foot placement is super important. My front foot is very forward. But now I'm trying to shimmy my back foot back, but I'm keeping my front forward for me because my front foot to me is my brake, get down. Um, and now I'm shimmying back. And eventually I'll come back to where I need to be, but that's what I'm learning right now. So then my, uh, what was it? Fourth, fifth try yesterday, we were at Kanaha and 25 knots, something like that, a little bit lighter. And um, I can get up now. My first couple of tries, I tend to fall. Again, it's that foot thing slipping off. You know, foil up wind and then just do these little circles. And it's pretty fun. I want to do a downwinder. <laughs> okay, go to the right on that swell. Well, you did a mini downwinder. Not mini one. Kanaha to Kaa, and then that's how I learned to motor back up, and the battery was so important, and it was really hard. I had a motor back up on my knees, and then I'm looking at my uh, controller, and I had, I don't know, three or four bars left, but so that's why you got to watch your, your battery if you're in that situation, and the other thing is, is I just got to relax and breathe, but... I'm like what I call gecko feet. Like I'm on there like deer in a headlight. And I just need to kind of calm down and know that I can do it and um, get your feet into a really good position wherever they are for you, balanced. And then um, just learn to read the water. So I just need to learn to read the water. I cannot see the bumps whatsoever for to, if I were to take a sup into it. <laughs> Um, but it'll come. So I'm doing mini downwinders now on the fourth, third and fourth day. And um, and I can get up and I'm now I'm getting glides and I can see how I want to go down eventually in size. Um, but that'll come. I don't want to be too impatient and then go too small and then I get really frustrated and then, you know, I, you know, you want to quit or it's not happening. So I think you stay on this, stay on something big, conquer it, get your foundation, and then shimmy down. But on the other hand, we took Kalia out, our daughter, yesterday. Um, what was she on? 1400? 1250? 1250. 1250. First try, stands up, nee, 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 you know, doing circles, whatever. I'm like, oh my God. So um, for younger generation, this is easy the older generation it just takes us a few times it's not hard it's just there's a sh short learning curve to it and it's really important to be on the right gear to do it and so eventually I'll keep you posted on my my down my Lico Maliko downwinder and uh, see how it goes so I'm super excited